Coming up in this video, I try to look manly in my front garden. Harry gets new headphones and insults me while I seem to laugh for mysterious reasons. Again, proof that Bob is still with us. He's almost walking normally. He's nearly human after all. I pray in strange ways, bouncing up and down, and then think about chucking some weights into the hedge. And one of my neighbours tries to shoot Harry while he's in a tree. I try to work out how to get rid of the weight very slowly, and then I bounce up and down with a strange pogo stick trying to get big legs. Let's see how the allergy to water is doing. Close. <laughs> Still there. So here I am trying to keep my snowboard fantasy on track, warming up gradually because, you know, I'm old and I don't want to snap anything. And here's a range of the different exercises that I do at my front door because if you've watched any of these videos, you'll know that I can't fit in the basement properly. The weights won't go over my head. I've never done any of these exercises before. They're all first time. How exciting. But actually, no, because the weights spend so much time on my shoulders that they really start to ache. Here I am taking a rest, trying to look manly. Oh, isn't that impressive? But nobody's there to see, and off I go, bouncing up and down again with the weight on the shoulder. And this time it's in front of my face, I can't really work out what I'm doing. I scratch my back, I look around, looking for help, there's nobody there. Oh, what am I going to do? I've no idea. Why is there so much of this in the video? Now I'm warmed up, it's time for some proper squats. All I have to do is get the weights over my neck, onto my shoulders, and away we go. Luckily I've got a very handy wall that I can sit on, and this stops me bouncing in the lift and forces me to use more of my legs. Unfortunately, the weight is very small, so my legs don't really benefit. As you can see from my face, it's my neck and shoulders that are protesting. My shoulders are in such pain that I consider chucking the whole weight into the hedge. So instead, I kind of wiggle it around my body like some weird baton, in slow motion by the looks of it. Who knew a man could be this slow? That's because if I drop it on the path, it will simply smash it. Epic fail. I will never do this exercise again, but I'll probably look this stupid at other points in my life. Briefly, my wife comes out to walk the dog. Look, she's got her slippers on, turns around eventually Funny. and thinks, hmm, I really ought to go back in and get rid of the slippers. Thank God for that. And then, no pain, no gain, as they say, I go through this whole ridiculous rigmarole again, slapping the weight on my shoulders and pumping out loads of reps, which I won't bore you with now. This time, I try a different way of trying to get the weights off my shoulders, but it's equally slow motion. And that was real speed. I can't believe this. And then I think, well, I'll do some one-handed deadlifts, and surely that will keep my thighs pumping away and getting ready for snowboarding. And obviously I can't just do it on one side, I have to flip over and do it on the other, and that's enough of that. And now, just in case the neighbours haven't been watching me being ridiculous, I decide to hop up and down on the step uh, so that my head bobs up and down across the street and everyone can look across and think, I wonder how Mr Sales is coping with coronavirus. Oh look, he's gone slightly mad and he's pretending to be a very slow rabbit. And now, feeling the need for speed, I pick up the weight in a strange way and decide to bob up and down and just get a burn in my thighs to replicate what snowboarding is like. But I'm really not sure that this was a good idea. It looks very wrong. And it's at around this time that I start to think about food. And here is the lovely lamb dish that Harry cooked me. Oh, oh right, you are now. Get an actual smartphone. Like a normal Go on, stick those video. on your head so I can see if you look like a Cyberman. <laughs> Nobody knows what side this is like a Louis Theroux documentary. <laughs> well, as long as I'm not Jimmy Savile in this. No, it's... And here is his next duck feast. Harry decides the holly branches are blocking out sunlight, preventing his sunbathing, so he gives me a hand in the garden. You're I'm... attacking me! I'm being assassinated. Yeah, definitely heard it. I think I might have got it on YouTube. <sighs> And the garden is shaping up with lots of rubble I've dug up. How exciting. A new step that I've had to build for Bob because I found him having fallen out of his little escape route into the house here. I found him lying on the dandelions, unable to turn over. But here he is, proof that he's walking normally again. And I'm slowly building mountains of debris, sculptures of debris, little devil's mountains of debris. 
in the garden. And look, fossilised tree trunks that I found sliced perfectly and the rake that I've broken in my ongoing battle with the bamboo shoots. They are winning. Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? Not really. <laughs> you had to be here, really. My glasses have steamed up. I'm just too hot. Time for a shower. Well, if you've made it this far, you'll probably want to subscribe for more life-enhancing videos or not. Subscribe because you want to learn English and get great grades. Because I do that too.